Now, you may think that if you report a crime to the police, then it will be investigated. So when the Chief Constable of Greater Manchester admitted that his force only look into four out of every ten reports, it may come as a surprise. Speaking at a public meeting, Sir Peter Fahey said officers have to concentrate on the most serious incidents and those where there are clear lines of investigation. He joins us now. Very good morning to you. Morning. Thanks for joining us. Um, so just explain to us, so why are police not investigating? You might assume, if you've been a victim of a crime, that... Yeah. You know, you would go and investigate. Why not? We look at every crime when it's reported as to whether there is a line of inquiry. It might be around witnesses, house to house, forensic CCTV. But if there is no reasonable line of inquiry, I don't think the public would expect us to be pursuing that. And it's about the strategy that we've adopted in British policing, which has led to a, you know, a halving of crime over the last 10 years. And that's a balance between investigating crime after it's happened and targeting known offenders. Most crime is committed by a relatively small group of persistent offenders. Mm. And so this morning in Greater Manchester, my officers absolutely are investigating crimes that have happened, but at the same time we'll have a list of about 10, 20 active local criminals that they are going after. OK, I'll talk, I'll talk about them in a minute, but yeah. just... You know, so something, let's say, I don't know what happens, something gets stolen, your wallet gets stolen, your yeah. bag gets stolen, you go to the police and, and you just, at some point, just say, well, there, you know, there's nothing we can do. Well, it's not about nothing we can do. We look at, you know, were there any witnesses, whether there's CCTV in the area where it was stolen from, you know, is there any forensic opportunities? But obviously, if there are no opportunities, there is, you know, there is nothing more we can but you, do. Where do you investigate that from, from the office, as it were? Well, it may well be that the officer has attended, he may be looking at the report that we've received, and it's about using, you know, our professionalism, our experience about you know what sort of things are we likely to do as police officers that are likely to produce a result and it's not very different from a doctor looking at the various number of cases and saying well what sort of treatments are likely to have a result I'm a bit confused because that sounds a bit like an investigation to me if you say that someone come I come into your yeah. to, into a, a police officer and say my my mobile phone has been stolen and you say okay just if you could write a report mm. and I say yes somebody ran past me grabbed it off yeah, me yeah, yeah. and that was it now if you don't investigate that, then you don't know if there's CCTV pictures. So do you investigate at all, or if it's a mobile... Are there certain crimes, for example, like mobile phone theft, which is so common now, and so rarely is anyone caught, that you effectively see those keywords and go... No, push that one. That one no, goes I mean, over I mean, there. That's a good example. Absolutely, we will look. Is there CCTV in the area? Um, are there any forensic opportunities? So every, that witnesses? would happen every yeah. time. There's never a report. What I'm asking away yeah. is, there's never someone who comes in, reports a crime, and you just look at it and go... Let's pop that one over there. Yeah. It is so they're always investigated to a degree. To a degree, but it's, it's looking at the overall pattern of crime. And mobile mobile phone offences are uh, is a big issue for us in Greater Manchester at the moment. But at the same time, we're using CCTV, we're using undercover officers. You know, we're using surveillance. Um, we're giving messages out to the public. But the crucial point I'm trying to get across is that we've been successful in British policing by particularly targeting known offenders. You know, what the public needs to be concerned about is not only what percentage of crime is being investigated, but what percentage of active criminals in my area, either living in my area or operating in my area, are the police on the back of. And some of these people we are visiting two or three times a day. We're noting what clothing they're wearing, we're carrying out surveillance on them, as well as working with probation on trying to deal with their drug problem, their alcohol problem. And that is really the big frustration, I think, for a lot of police officers. It is that group of people. And for us to continue to reduce crime and keep the public safe, there has to be this balance between investigating crime after it's happened and getting on the backs of these active criminals that commit most crime. Um, I'd like to talk to you more. Um, maybe you'll come back and do, talk to us another day as well about it. Um, Sir Peter Fahey, Chief Constable of Greater Manchester Police, thank you. Thanks.